Hi everyone, this video is going to be about pseudo replication. But first, I want to discuss what replication is. Replication is extremely important when collecting data. Replication is defined as repeating a measurement. If you only do something once, it will be very hard to convince anyone that your data is meaningful and not just chance or luck. Many studies aim to gather as many data points or subjects as possible to support their hypothesis and provide statistical power. However, when doing this, pseudo-replication may occur, giving inaccurate results. Pseudo-replication is when subjects are not independent of each other, but you count them as if they were. Remember the two criteria for a truly random sample? Pseudo-replication is what happens when you break criteria number two. Some examples of pseudo-replication may include wanting to estimate how often people go to the grocery store per week and asking two people from the same house, wanting to estimate the number of kids there are per household and taking data from siblings, sampling the same person twice. In all of these cases, the subjects are not independent of one another. A pseudo-replicated sample gives the impression of having more replication or more data than there really is. You can think of this like having false confidence. 